The Department of Chemistry is the chemistry department of the University of Oxford, England, which is part of the university's mathematical, physical and life sciences division. Overview The department has several laboratories in the science area, Oxford. Topic: Mansfield Road. In Mansfield Road, Chemical Biology Laboratory, Chemistry Research Laboratory. Topic: South Parks Road. In South Parks Road. Inorganic Chemistry Laboratory ICL Physical and Theoretical Chemistry Laboratory PTCL Dyson Perrins Laboratory DP Topic Notable Staff and Alumni Heads of Department have included Mark Bruard Timothy Softley 2011 to 2015 Graham Richards 1997 to 2006 other notable staff and alumni include John Aubrey Harry Anderson Fraser Armstrong Peter Atkins Hagen Bailey Ronnie Bell EJ Bowen David Clary Richard G. Compton Charles Colson Frederick Dainton William I. F. David Ben G. Davis Peter Edwards Emily Flashman Cyril Hinshelwood Peter J. Hoare David Manilopoulos FRS Rex Richards Carol V. Robinson Christopher J. Schofield Margaret Thatcher Robert K. Thomas Harold Thompson History Chemistry has a long history at Oxford. The early pioneer of chemistry Robert Boyle and his assistant Robert Hooke began working in Oxford in the mid-17th century. A chemistry laboratory was built in the basement of the old Ashmolean building in 1683, which was used until 1860. Chemical research was also conducted in laboratories set up in individual colleges, Christ Church, Oxford 1767, Magdalen College, Oxford Daubeny Laboratory, 1848, Balliol College, Oxford 1853, later joined with Trinity College, Oxford to become the Balliol Trinity Laboratories, Queen's College, Oxford 1900, and Jesus College, Oxford 1907, chemistry was first recognized as a separate discipline at Oxford with the building of a laboratory attached to the Oxford University Museum of Natural History, opening in 1860. The laboratory is a small octagonal structure to the right of the museum, built in stone in the Victorian Gothic style. The design was based on the Abbot's Kitchen at Glastonbury and it adopted the same name despite being a laboratory. The building was one of the first ever purpose-built chemical laboratories anywhere and was extended in 1878. 